Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and on this, uh, I'd say, fairly fine autumnal day. It's the 1st of October and we are doing a quick walk around video on this surely very quick to sell 2013 Rapido 700 double F. So uh, Rapido, giant French manufacturer, one of France's biggest manufacturers, head of their own group. Their own group includes other companies including Dreamer, Itinio um, and Wild Axe amongst others. Um, so big French group, very high quality vans. I would put Rapido up there for build quality along with all of the premium German brands. So uh, Nausheimer, Deathless, Bursner, that sort of level of, of things. So we sold this van new back in 2013. It's only had one owner since. He was a local gentleman, a uh, farmer just from down the road from us in South Devon. Uh, and he's only done 13,000 miles from new, which is great. Now I thought he had lived inside. I presumed he kept it in a barn, but if he did, he's been probably kept it out outside a little bit so it does need a wash this hasn't been valeted or touched since it came in it's not had a dog in it uh, that i can see or smell it's definitely not been smoked in uh just needs a, a quick wash off basically so she's a fiat based rapid old 700 double f from 2013 <coughs> it's a drop down bed it's got four berths four seat belts probably better as two and occasional guests uh, it's three and a half tons you can drive it on a car license based on the Fiat Ducato like everything else 130 brake, it's the Euro 5 engine, so it's the newer newer engine with the newer dashboard. <coughs> Only 13,000 miles from new, and despite being called a 700, it is actually under 6 metres in length, so it's 5.97 uh, long, so it's cheaper on the bridges, the ferries. 2.35 width, standard width, 2.9 high, so it is low profile, with an easy extra height for the drop down bed. Price at 46.95. So, looking at it from the outside, um, bodywork is excellent, in fairness to it, I don't think. I've seen any damage on it whatsoever. It's got the optional uh, Rapido smiley face at the front, which is great, instead of the Fiat grille. That was a free option at the time. We uh, took that for most of our vans. It's got the fog lights built in. Just makes it look newer, I think. Very, very smart. Um, there might be an odd little stone chip somewhere on it, but if there is, I haven't really seen it. But there's no scuffs or dents or damage. The headlights are still looking sparkly. That's all good. Let's have a little look inside the cab while we're on this side. Oh, what's that there? I know it's just a bit of, bit of bird mop. So we've got full Remis concertina cab lines on the side and the front. We've got the all black Euro 5 dash with the newer engine, which is nice. So six speed manual, we've got air conditioning, cruise control. It's got a parrot Bluetooth kit, but it's also got a later Pioneer Bluetooth stereo system. So you don't need uh, the parrot Bluetooth kit as far as I can see. Um, Front and rear fog lights, central locking, heated mirrors, all the normal stuff. No alarm fitted to it, which is good. Twin swivel cab seats, cab seats all in good order. That's fine. Yeah, no sort of grubbiness about them. That's all good. Not been valeted inside either, but hoover out, sweep out, it'll come up absolutely fine. No spare wheel on these, so it comes with the uh, <coughs> excuse my cough run flight injection kit. Gas locker is set up for European gas bottles, so or size-wise it can take them, so twin 11s. Unless you go for gas low refillable bottles, you'll be getting Cala gas, which will be sixes or sevens. It's got the factory fitted auto change overhead on it, which you can switch your gas off from inside the van, which is a pointless feature that I've never really understood to be honest, but you can do it, so you're going outside switching your gas on and off. We've got a Fiamma <coughs> awning at the top there. There's a digital TV aerial on the roof, LED awning light. One sliding window there, which is good and keep it open when you're driving if you've got passengers or a doggy in the back. Fridge vents for your big three-way Dometic fridge freezer and a really useful. Remember this van's only six meters. You wouldn't expect to get much external storage without a fixed bed, but it does. It's got this really big, and you can take these shelves out, external storage. You've got your toilet cassette in there. You've got your external hot and cold shower point, in which the attachment is inside in its original plastic bag. I don't think it's ever been used. Winter fridge vent covers. Because this was a buy-in, um, say one owner from new, and the gentleman we sold it to sold it back to us uh, nine years later. He's left his silver screens in, he's left his bike rack thing, and this goes right the way to the top there, so you could put a tall person in there if you don't like them. So coming around to the back of the van, we've got a slightly ugly but rather functional tow bar with full width nudge bar. That's got some cosmetic rust coming through the powder coating. 
<coughs> to be honest, it's not something we would do, it's just cosmetic. But the corners of the vans, absolutely fine. Two bike bike rack on there, obviously if you've got electric bikes, get a tow bar mounted bike rack and that will just unclip if you don't want it on. Uh, for being critical, there's no reversing sensors or reversing camera. It, in to some respect, that's a good thing because old reversing cameras are never very good. So we can fit you a brand new one for between four and five hundred pounds if you want one, or three hundred pound for sensors. Other corner also in impeccably good condition. It's not even got the normal little spider cracks in these bits, which all rapidos tended to have. This one doesn't, which is excellent. It's a bar of clean. This will come up really well. That's the back of your boiler for drainage and uh, service work. Your boiler flew there. Fresh water fill up point for your onboard 100 litre plus fresh water tank. Then we've got mains hook up. Uh, I don't think there's a solar panel on the roof to be honest. I can't find a skylight to stick my head out to check but I've not seen a solar panel charge controller in there so work on it not having a solar panel. Again we could fit one if you wanted one. A tiny little, tiny little spider crack with a uh, over tighten that. That's been like it from new. And there is nothing to comment on on the outside. This will come up really really nicely with a clean so you have just bought it hence why it's a bit grubby but better to put it on the pitch there's another little spider crack just in the gel coat of this cosmetic fairing at the front there they all do that i think the people at uh, rapido got a bit over enthusiastic when they got their electronic screwdriver for christmas nice uh hartel i think it's a hartel one piece door um we got the Fire screen there, no need for an electric step, which is good. It's just quite a small step up into there. Carpets, I think they're grubby. Well, maybe not, maybe it's just, maybe they're not. I'm not sure, but they look grubby, but now I've done that, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I don't think that's actually dirt. I think it's just the weave of the carpet. But anyway, we'll jet wash them and uh, leave them in the van. Obviously you don't have to have them down. Handy grab rail, light switches on the way in. And then you come here straight into a real nice lounge. This one's got cloth seats. I much prefer cloth seats. Rapido do the best comfortable sort of really nice comfy sort of spongy cloth seats. Um, I've had the odd one with leather. It's cold and it's slippery so cloth seats definitely good. Nice lounge. Table drops down and you can funk that about into a lumpy bumpy double bed if you want to. Both your cab seats swivel around. And then you've got up there, and it's all strapped up at the moment, so I won't bother doing it. It's just been a test drive yesterday. This one, it's got uh, electric drop-down bed, and that'll come all the way down to that level. I think it'll come down a bit lower than that if you remove the uh, the stoppers there as well. The upholstery is all very, very good. Yeah, nice thing, real nice thing. So you've got one seat belt there, <coughs> and then you've got a drop-in backrest that turns that into a seat belt there as well. Handy little door there with some extra bits. Oh, that catch is broken, we do need to do that. I noticed that yesterday. Working towards the rear of the van. Kitchen surprisingly good for a European van. I like this lighter wood instead of the ginger wood or the darker wood as well. So we've got a combi oven and grill. Rare for a European van, but Rapido for many years learned that the British like an oven, so they did put us quite a good one in at a reasonable height. Three gas burners on top like normal with a split top cover, which is kind of nice. Nice deep sink. And a pointless draining board, which is another rapid old thing that those of you who, who want a draining board, you've got a draining board in a sort of second sink because everybody needs two sinks in their six meter motorhome. Fine supply screens and all the windows, as you'd expect. Over here, we've got your bed controls, a continental 12 volt plug, a mains plug, your on off for your gas, and your controls for your true Macombi gas and electric heating and hot water system. So that uses mains electric if you're hooked up, gas if you're not hooked up, to provide blown air heating and hot water. We show you all of this on collection. We even give you two free nights after collection on a very nice local campsite next door where I actually spent last night. So we do a, a real proper job of it. Decent kitchen storage, kitchen cabinet work. Everything's in good order, in fairness to it. I think just because it's a little bit grubby on the outside, um, it makes you sort of negative about it, but it's actually really nice, this van. It'll come up incredibly well. Um, doesn't smell at all. More kitchen cabinet work for your pots and pans or your bottles of wine. Over yonder, you've got your really big fridge freezer, which is good. So that's gas if you're not hooked up, electric if you are hooked up. Look at how clean that is. That's really, really clean. So uh, gas if you're not hooked up, electric if you are. Engine battery when you're driving, that's mint as well in there. 
Above there's your TV point because it was a buy and he's left his TV in. It's a 19 inch Vision Plus TV, might even be a 16 inch one. Uh, it's DVD free view. We don't guarantee aftermarket audio electrical equipment, so where we where it's here, it'll be left in. I'm sure it works, but it is a bit small, so personally, I'd uh, maybe go up to a 19 inch Avtex because that will have a probably be the same size as that, but the screen will be all the way to the edge. But uh, anyway, we'll leave that one in if you're not a big TV watcher, it's fine. Nice, easy to use, rapid old control panel up there. Now you think this is great in a six metre van, the bathroom must be small to fit a good kitchen, a nice lounge and loads of storage into a six metre van. But then you've got a really big bathroom as well. You'd think this was seven metres this van, you really would. It's so big it echoes in it. I always like this stripy sort of a light guard of steam yacht style, uh, style of uh, flooring. Nice deep sink, that's mint as well. Shower tray's a bit grubby. That'll clean up nice though. Nice big separate shower with a hanging rail. Good storage, really good storage in there, which is great. A nice big mirror and more storage over there. And then all your wardrobe space and such like, it's over here. So you've got three big ones there. That's your external shower and that's your headrest for your extra forward facing seat belted seat. Bring it up to four. And then a huge wardrobe space there, that's really big, with your hanging rail and your digital TV aerial in there. And that's one of the later ones that's got the uh, reception signal finder on it as well. Underneath of there, that's access to the external cupboard. What I really like is this blanked panel here. Why did they bother putting that on? There's nothing on it. Anyway, it's a nice little thing, little window for ventilation, skylight up above. <coughs> Faults wise, two sticky catches we fix them that's it really it's really really good and carpets that may or may not be grubby i don't think they are grubby it's a bit stained here it's slightly stained down there but no, that's all apart from that it is very very nice in fairness to it so uh this is our 2013 on a 13 plate a rapid old 700 the double f at highbridge motorhomes devon this is us, so we are at Highbridge Caravan Centre, Hyabrox Plantation, Team Grace, Newton Abbott. You can call us on that number there, or, either, or ring the mobile if nobody answers. And come and see us about this gorgeous Rapido 700 double F at 46.95. Thank you very much, goodbye.